boom, bang the rattle. Get my independent sign, declare it on the dotted line. Let Philadelphia freedom ring and patriotic voices sing. Red, white, and blue, never give up. You represent America. Coming in, praying for a brighter day. I listen to my heart and I obey. How can I see it any other way? I'm looking at Here are some exciting scenes from today's episode of Liberty's Kids. Don't leave me tied to a Hessian mercenary. I don't want to be tied to an American spy. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Since you won't be around that long, your British buddies will take care of you, deserter. My fate is in the hands of my duke, but you will find out how the British deal with American spies. to read in your latest letter that some members of parliament spoke out against the war in America. It gives me hope that perhaps this war will come to a quick end. This morning finds me traveling with Henri to New York State to find the American Northern Army so I can write a story about their commander, Major General Horatio Gates. I've enclosed a map to show you where I'll be. I must admit that sometimes I don't understand James. With all the important news to cover, he wants to join General Philip Schuyler wandering around in the New York wilderness. Dear reader, I am deep in the forest in New York with two of General Schuyler's scouts, observing delaying tactics. Swamps are flooded, bridges destroyed, all to slow General Burgoyne's march from Canada to Albany. Fish stock! Keep pushing! Um, Corporal Carby? Sergeant Wilton? Uh. For a minute, I thought I'd lost you both. Indian! Ah! Whoa! Uh. Huh? <gasps> Girls, you got to run. There's an Indian after me. Hessians! Ah! Ah! What is this? What is happening here? You left my children unprotected. Your duty is to keep them safe. Forgive us, Baroness von Reidersen. This boy surprised us. He appeared out of nowhere. Move. Ah. It's this detestable American wilderness. You can't see a thing except the bugs. It's plagued us ever since we left Fort Ticonderoga. That's it. I fell. I hit my head on a tree branch. Yeah, that's it. I'm dreaming all this. Indians chasing me, kids in the woods, Hessians, an angry German baroness. Move! Or not. It. Thank you, Bruce. So this is life in Lieutenant General Burgoyne's camp. Slowed down by a trail of camp followers, low on food, and not enough horses, his troops are miserable. 
while the general travels in style and dines in comfort thanks to more than 30 carts full of his personal belongings. Hey, don't take that. It's nothing to do with you. Indeed. And what would you call passing out an appeal to our Hessian comrades to desert? What? Finally, General Gates' headquarters. Oh, my derriere is killing me. Lucky for you, his headquarters are here in Bemis Heights. Not further north in Saratoga. Henri, what are you... Warren? He must be honored to be in the presence of a writer who so glowingly chronicles him in the Pennsylvania Gazette. General Benedict Arnold. Miss Phillips, Henri. Is there any word from General Schuyler? Having successfully delayed Burgoyne nearly a month, General Schuyler has returned to Stillwater. That's good news. It means James is safe. Good news would be Skyler here at Bemis Heights. He should be in charge, not Gates. Is there a problem? Problem? No problem unless having less qualified officers appointed over me after my success at Ridgefield could be construed as a problem. Or having Granny Gates seek any excuse to relieve me of my duties could be construed as a problem. Is there nothing you can do? Certainly! Don't give Gates a reason to get rid of you! Excellent advice, Henri, and I shall do my utmost to follow it. Make it fast right here. I wouldn't put it there. Huh? I don't believe we have met. Henri Lefebvre. Colonel of Engineers Kosciusko at your service. You do not approve of the way I build this fort? Depends. Where'd you learn to build forts? My home in Poland, and an engineering school in France. Perhaps you can do a better job? Bet I could build a fort no redcoat could get past. I would be interested in hearing them. Did you get your ideas in school? School? Ah, oh, who needs to go to school to build forts? <sighs> Look, I've been here for weeks. I'm just another mouth to feed. Why not just let me go? I told you, laddie. We'll deal with you when we arrive in Albany. That could take months at the rate you're traveling. Look, Hessians may be brutes that only fight for money, but I wasn't trying to get them to desert. I was using the leaflets to write on. Oh, yes, your writing. It speaks of burning crops and destroying bridges. Here, it mentions moving off cattle. These are acts of rebellion against the crown. I just report on what happens. It's what I do. I think you do more than that. You also possess information about our camp. Yes, Sergeant? Very well. Assemble the ranks and form a foraging party. We move out immediately to search for food. Now, what shall I do with you? There. This will keep you two from going anywhere. But he's a... a... Hessian. <laughs> he's a deserter. I think you two will get along nicely. Don't leave me tied to a Hessian mercenary. Ugh. I don't want to be tied to an American spy. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Since you won't be around that long, your British buddies will take care of you, deserter. Ha! My fate is in the hands of my duke, but you will find out how the British deal with American spies. I'm not a spy! I'm not a deserter! I was ordered by Corporal Schmidt to accompany him. We left the column to find something to eat. Anything. Berries, small animals. We were attacked by some of your American skirmishers. <sighs> Schmidt! The corporal was wounded. But I am told he will heal. When he does, he will write the Duke on my behalf and tell him I am innocent. Unlike you. Why didn't you shoot back? What kind of soldier are you? I'm not a soldier. I'm a musician. What? <laughs> Je 
General, a British patrol has been engaged. Here. That's less than a mile away. A great deal less. My horse! Pick up. The patrols are back. Oh. Looks like they found more than food. How close the fighting? There was a battle in a place called Freeman's Farm. It lasted for many hours. Each side advancing. Falling back. So? Who won? We did. Only because Hessians arrived in time. In the battle, the Americans ran low on ammunition and were forced to withdraw. General Burgoyne's losses were heavy. More than two soldiers for every one American. Doesn't sound like you won to me. Silence, spy and deserter. You will be proud to know that your Corporal Schmidt returned to duty and help save the day for us. Unfortunately, I must report that he was killed. What will happen to me? My friend is gone. So is your alibi. General Arnold, the American troops owe you a debt this day. Your brave leadership carried the battle. Three cheers for Arnold. He saved the day. <laughs> I'm still hungry. Who in camp isn't? What's it been? Two, two and a half weeks since the battle? Mm. You heard. Burgoyne waits for food and reinforcements from New York before he launches another attack. I want out of here. You with me? Without Schmidt to tell them I am innocent, I fear what they will do to me. I'll go. You have a plan? Well, as usual, the fog's rolling in. Which means your American skirmishers will start harassing us, as they've done every night. Oh! Mm -mm. Oh! Oh! Now? Now! Oh! Uh, there! Take cover! Musket fire! The American lines can't be far. We hear camp sounds every night. Come on, A British patrol? Maybe. It doesn't sound like German. Well, they are not Indians. General Burgoyne promised them a bounty for each deserter they track back to camp. And you just decided to tell me this now? Doesn't matter. They're leaving. Besides, Burgoyne's promise shouldn't surprise you, considering many of you rebels are cannibals. We're not cannibals. Where did you hear that? On the boat coming over. Boy, you've got a lot to learn about Americans. And you also about Germans. Ha! Not much to learn about you Hessians. You fight for money. First, I'm not a Hessian. I'm a Brunswicker from Brunswick. For your information, Hessians come from Hesse Kala. And we're only in America because the Duke of Brunswick needs money to pay off his debts. Oh, right. And you get nothing? I get the same as an English soldier. But for each soldier he provides the English, the Duke gets a payment and a yearly sum! <laughs> James. Counter. James, look, there, a cabin. Maybe we can find something in it to cut this rope. What is wrong with General Arnold? Is he sick? No, he won't come out of his tent. General Arnold, didn't I beg you to stop writing those nasty letters to General Gates? He excluded me from staff meetings, he reassigned my men, and in his report to Congress, he somehow failed to mention that I was at the battle. He didn't! 
everyone in camp knows our victory is because of you. And now, as my reward for pointing out those failures, General Gates has removed me from my command. How can he do that? Congress gave Gates the power to suspend any officer for misconduct, but I will not give Gates the pleasure of seeing me leave. I shall stay in my tent. Incredible! James is going to be jealous. There's no way anything he's reporting is as exciting as your story. And they're close. You know what that means. Cannonballs! Hide! Where? There's nothing here! Under the floorboards. Oh, this was a good idea. This? This is nothing. On the boat coming to America, we were packed like herring. The air was foul, the food worse, and the drinking water, we strained it with a cloth and still held our noses. Hey, you volunteered. Volunteered? We did as we were told, or be shot. You're telling me you went through all that just so your dupe could pay off a debt? Well, yes. That's tyranny! That's what America is fighting against. Liberty from people like your doc! Don't you mean Duke? No, Doc. Check this cabin. In here! I'll go in here. You go there. Ready, fire. My men are engaged in a battle. I need to be with them. If only you weren't under orders to stay here. Blast the orders! My men come first. All right! Magnifique! Victory or death! Arnold, I order you back! Immediately! We are not saved. Your army is retreating. They're going to lose this battle, too. We're going to be captured by the British. I don't think so. Look. Man, follow me to victory! He's a madman. No, he's Benedict Arnold. Look, he's done. The American troops are rallying behind him. Get him! Let's get out of here. Oh no, more soldiers! Are their coats blue or red? They're green. Oh no, the Hessians are coming. We're going to be prisoners again. Don't worry, they want to come with us. They're deserting. All of them? Make way for a hero! His bravery won the day! Burgoyne has retreated to Saratoga! General Arnold! Hear that, Sarah? The Americans won the battle! Oh boy, have you got a story! General Arnold, you're ordered back to your quarters, lest you do something rash. You're hurt! Can you believe it, Sarah? I was wounded in the same leg as the last time. I can't believe you disobeyed General Gates' orders to stay in your tent. And... and then you led the Americans to victory? James! You look terrible. You weren't loafing in Stillwater, were you? I wish. Hey, look at you. Obviously, you weren't exactly just reporting either. 
Hessians? Brunswickers. Show it to any of our soldiers and they'll know you don't want to fight anymore. Desert und live free. Thanks. And thanks for teaching me about Americans. Hey, I think we're even. You did teach me a lot about hiding places. It was a pleasure to meet you both. Give my regards to Ben Franklin. We will. Hey, Gus! This is a model of the perfect fort, guaranteed to win every battle. Fine craftsmanship. Here's the door. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Henri, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. When you go to school, you'll learn how to fix it. Dear Dr. Franklin, what an exciting time I have had. In the wilderness, I was chased by Indians, taken prisoner by Hessians, escaped tied to a German prisoner, Gunter, with whom I not only became friends, but also witnessed General Arnold rallying the American troops, which eventually led to Gentleman Johnny Burgoyne's surrender at Saratoga. That was a sight to see. His whole army. I hope this news that our army can stand up to the British in a face-to-face -face battle and win will aid you in your talks with the French. Dear Mother, I am now not so sure that England will win this war. In fact, I truly believe the Americans may have found a hero to lead them to victory. A brilliant and courageous officer named Benedict Arnold. 